everybody. Today I want to show you a cool automation I found that allows you to download your transaction history from your Robinhood account. If you use your Robinhood account, if you use Robinhood, it even works with um, dividends and um, whatever the third option is. They call it transfers, I believe, but I thought that was also transaction. Um, so, with this little code um, snippet uh, JavaScript, you can have your um, transaction or dividend history automatically downloaded uh, into a CSV file. I believe that's the format in Excel. It comes in in Excel and you can see your uh, transactions um, really, really quite easily. And it was very handy um, for me because even though I kept track of everything I deposited, I still was a little off because I didn't start keeping track uh, the way I am now as soon as I started using Robinhood. So obviously I missed some transactions that happened. Anyway, regardless, if you use Robinhood, this will be a great video for you. Let's get started. First, you go to your Robinhood account. I'm going to start up uh, Chrome. And go to my Robinhood account. So here it is. And this is my Robinhood account and I would go here to um, history and then I have to wait till it loads history and then once it's loaded history I would go to um, oh yes it has corporate actions orders uh, dividends and transfers. So, uh, transfers is basically transactions. So I click on uh, transfers and I would then scroll all the way down until I can't scroll anymore. All right. So, then I would go to um, click Command and Option and I. And I believe for PC it's uh, Control, Alt, and I. But for Mac it's Alt, Command, and Option. Or Alt, Command, and I. And it opens up the console here in Google Chrome. And then you would simply paste the code that I'll provide a link to in the description of the video. So you would control V. Oops, this is not it. This is the URL. So I'm going to control, control C to find. Oh, the well, here it is. And that's it. Now, all I have to do is hit enter. And here is the file already initiated 
to download. So I'm going to go to the desktop and put it there. Oh yeah, it's a TSV, not CSV, because it's tab separated value, not comma separated value. Alright, so, and then you save it. And then, um, just to show it to you for the purposes of this video, I'm going to um, close this tab first. Oh no, I can't close the tab, sorry. Um, then I'm going to open it in a finder. And whatever loads quickly. Here are the uh, list of transactions. I won't show this in the video, obviously, because I don't want people seeing my transactions, but you'll be able to see that transactions are there. Alright, so um, that's how that is done. And to get the um, dividend that uh, you received, you'd simply um, go to the dividend section over here and do the same thing scroll all the way down and run the same action uh, and this is obviously the, the code itself all right, guys. Well, uh, thank you, everyone. That's all right. That's it for today for this video. Um, if you liked it, please subscribe, comment, and like, and obviously share the video. Um, and until next time, I'll see you in the next video.